How well do you really know your eyes? They're not just windows to the world but intricate organs with complex structures. Our eyes, those sparkling orbs we so often take for granted, are masterpieces of natural engineering. Like a high-tech camera, each eye is composed of myriad parts, each playing a critical role in our ability to observe the world around us. Let's delve into the fascinating anatomy of the eye. The cornea, a transparent dome, serves as the eye's outermost lens. It functions much like a window, controlling and focusing the entry of light into the eye. When light strikes the cornea, it bends or refracts the incoming light onto the lens. Next, nestled behind the cornea, we find the iris, the colorful part of the eye. This ring of muscle tissue controls the size of the pupil, the black hole in the center of the iris that lets light in. Depending on the light levels, the iris either expands or shrinks the pupil to control the amount of light that reaches the back of the eye. Further back, the lens sits waiting. This clear, flexible structure works with the cornea to focus light, or an image, onto the retina. It changes its shape, getting fatter or thinner as needed, to allow precise focusing of light onto the retina. Finally, the retina, a thin layer of tissue lining the back of the eye, receives the image that the cornea and lens have focused. It's here that the magic happens. The retina converts the light into neural signals and sends them on their journey to the brain, which interprets them as visual images. So there you have it, the basic structure of the eye. It's a streamlined, efficient system where each part has a distinct role. From the cornea's initial gathering and bending of light to the retina's transformation of that light into electrical impulses, every step is crucial. The eye, as you can see, is a marvel of biological engineering, each part playing a crucial role in helping us see our world. Now that we've introduced you to the parts of the eye, let's delve into how they work together to create the images we see. The process of vision is a complex and fascinating one, a journey that begins when light from the world around us enters the eye. This light first encounters the cornea, the eye's outermost layer. Acting like a window, the cornea refracts or bends the light, directing it towards the lens. The lens, a clear structure located just behind the iris and the pupil, has the important job of focusing the light onto the retina. This is achieved by changing its shape, a process called accommodation. If you're looking at something close, the lens bulges. If you're focusing on something far away, it flattens out. Once the light hits the retina, the real magic happens. The retina, lining the back of the eye, is packed with millions of photoreceptive cells known as rods and cones. These cells are responsible for converting the light into electrical signals. Rods help us see in low light conditions, while cones are responsible for our color vision and detail perception. Here's where the brain comes into the picture. The electrical signals generated by rods and cones travel along the optic nerve, a kind of biological information highway leading directly to the brain. The brain then interprets these signals, turning them into the images we perceive. It's a process that happens so fast, so seamlessly, that we're not even aware of it. Yet every single thing you see, every color, every shape, every movement, is the result of this intricate ballet of light and biology. And let's not forget the vitreous humor, the clear jelly-like substance filling the space between the lens and the retina. It not only helps maintain the eye's shape, but also ensures that light travels evenly onto the retina. So, that's how an image is formed in your mind. Fascinating, isn't it? Despite their complexity, our eyes are susceptible to a variety of conditions and diseases. Just like any other part of our bodies, our eyes can experience various issues that can impact our vision and overall quality of life. Today, we will discuss some of the most common eye conditions, including nearsightedness, farsightedness, cataracts, and glaucoma. Let's start with nearsightedness and farsightedness also known as myopia and hyperopia, respectively. These conditions occur when the eye doesn't refract light properly to a single focus, leading to a blurred vision. Nearsightedness means you see close objects clearly, but distant objects are blurry. On the other hand, farsightedness means distant objects may be seen more clearly than objects that are near. Both of these conditions can usually be corrected with prescription glasses or contact lenses. Next, we have cataracts. A cataract occurs when the lens of the eye, which is normally clear, becomes clouded. This can lead to blurred vision and difficulty with reading or driving, particularly at night. Cataracts are typically associated with aging and can be treated through a surgical procedure to replace the clouded lens with a clear artificial one. Then, there's glaucoma. This is a group of eye conditions that damage the optic nerve, 
often due to unusually high pressure in the eye. Glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness for people over the age of 60. However, blindness from glaucoma can often be prevented with early detection and treatment. Each of these conditions presents with different symptoms. For example, if you are experiencing a gradual loss of vision quality, have difficulty seeing objects close up or far away, or if your vision is clouded, blurred or dim, it could be an indication that you are dealing with one of these common eye conditions. When it comes to treatment, it's all about managing the symptoms and the progression of the disease. Prescription glasses or contact lenses are often the first step in treatment for nearsightedness and farsightedness. For cataracts, surgery is usually the most effective treatment. In the case of glaucoma, treatment often involves medication or surgery to lower the pressure in the eye and protect the optic nerve. Remember, early detection through regular eye exams is key to managing these conditions. If you notice any changes in your vision, make sure to schedule an appointment with your eye care professional. Your eyes are your windows to the world, so it's important to take care of them and keep them healthy. Now let's talk about how we can treat and even prevent some of these common eye conditions. When it comes to treating eye conditions, there are a number of options available. For vision problems like nearsightedness and farsightedness, corrective lenses such as glasses or contact lenses can be used. These help to refocus light on the retina, improving vision. For more serious conditions like cataracts and glaucoma, Treatment may involve surgical procedures. Cataract surgery, for example, involves replacing the cloudy lens with an artificial one, effectively restoring clear vision. Glaucoma surgery, on the other hand, seeks to reduce the pressure in the eye, preventing further damage to the optic nerve. Medications, whether in the form of eye drops or oral drugs, can also be used to manage eye conditions. These can help control symptoms and slow the progression of diseases. But what's even better than treating eye conditions? preventing them from occurring in the first place, and there are several measures we can all take to protect our eyes. One of the simplest is wearing sunglasses. By blocking out harmful ultraviolet rays, sunglasses can help to prevent conditions like cataracts and macular degeneration. Proper use of digital devices is also critical. Spending long hours staring at screens can lead to digital eye strain. To avoid this, follow the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take a 20-second break and look at something 20 feet away. And let's not forget about lifestyle habits. A balanced diet rich in vitamins A, C, and E, regular exercise, and adequate sleep can all contribute to eye health. Avoiding smoking and limiting alcohol consumption can also reduce the risk of eye conditions. Lastly, regular eye exams are essential. They can help detect eye conditions early, before they cause significant vision loss. So, don't wait until you have a problem to see an eye doctor. Get your eyes checked regularly. As with most things, prevention is better than cure, especially when it comes to your eyes. Maintaining good eye health doesn't stop at prevention and treatment. Let's explore some tips for keeping your eyes in top shape. Firstly, one of the easiest ways to support your eye health is through regular eye exercises. These simple movements can help reduce eye strain, improve focus, and stimulate the eye's muscles. For example, try the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. This exercise can help prevent digital eye strain, a common issue in our screen-heavy world. Another key aspect of eye health is a balanced diet. Consuming a diet rich in vitamins and minerals, especially A, C, E, and Zinc, can significantly improve your eye health. Foods like leafy greens, oily fish, eggs, nuts, and citrus fruits are packed with these essential nutrients. Remember, your eyes are what you eat. Moreover, don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Just like the rest of your body, your eyes need adequate rest to function at their best. Strive for seven to nine hours of sleep per night to keep your eyes well rested and healthy. Maintaining proper eye hygiene is another vital factor in preserving your eye health. Always wash your hands before touching your eyes or handling contact lenses. Be sure to replace your contact lenses and eye makeup regularly to avoid potential infections. Lastly, we cannot stress enough the importance of taking regular breaks from screens. Whether it's your computer, your phone, or your TV, too much screen time can lead to eye strain, dryness, and even long-term vision problems. Make a habit of taking a five-minute break every hour or so to rest your eyes. Taking care of your eyes is an integral part of your overall health. Remember, your eyes are your windows to the world. So, we've explored the anatomy of the eye, 
common eye conditions and best practices for eye care. We've journeyed from the complex structure of the eye, understanding its intricate parts like the cornea, iris, lens, and retina, to the fascinating process of vision. We've unlocked the mysteries of common eye conditions like nearsightedness, farsightedness, cataracts, and glaucoma, and delved into their symptoms, causes, and treatment options. We've also highlighted the importance of regular eye checkups for early detection and prevention. Moreover, we've shared some valuable tips for eye care, including regular eye exercises, a balanced diet, and adequate rest. But most importantly, we've emphasized that your overall health and well-being play a crucial role in maintaining your eye health. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Remember, taking care of your eyes is priceless. Until next time, keep seeing the world in all its beauty.